welcome to Narayana live classes. Today we are going to discuss about the one assignment that one is regarding to the sixth standard. The topic name is the STEM. Let us go for the assignments one by one. See, first question, what is tuber? And give examples. The swollen structures which stores the food in the formation of starch is called it as tuber. The example is potato. Let us go for the next question. Second one. The second question is what is rhizome? Give examples. The plants like ginger and turmeric. The food is stored in underground stems is called rhizome. The examples of uh, rhizome is ginger, turmeric. These two are the best examples for the rhizome. Let us go for the next question. Next question. In cactus plants, the leaves are reduced to your options. The given one thorns, second spines, third needles, and fourth prickles. Mostly in cactus plants, the leaves are reduced to spines. So the option is second one. Okay, let us go for the next one. Fourth question, identify the plants in the given picture. What is the modification present in this one? All of you observe these diagrams, Nana. All these diagrams are regarding to the desert plants. Desert plants, the leaves are reduced to spines. The, these spines are helpful to reduce the water loss. So our answer is desert plants, the leaves are reduced to spines to reduce water loss. Let us go for next question. See, fifth one. The swollen structures which is stores dash is called a tuber. Your options are first one vitamins, second one proteins, third one starch and fourth one lipids. So the swollen structures which it stores starch. Is called a tuber. So the option is third one. Okay, let us go for next one. See, in plants like ginger and turmeric, Food is stored in dash or called rhizomes. See, your options are first one underground roots, second one underground stems, third one underground leaves and fourth option is both one and three. Mostly in ginger and turmeric, the food is stored in underground stems. So, the option is two. This is your questions which is present in this assignments. Thank you.